mine's always been to do with uh, multiples of five. Oh, uh, no, mine, uh, as long as it's an even number, so twos are fine. Yeah, twos are fine. Twos are fine. Um, I've always done increases of multiples of five, though. In, like, when I'm turning up, like, a car radio or something like that, I always do it in multiples of five for some reason. I don't know why. Mine have to be two because yeah. the radio only goes to 30. Oh, and you, my radio, I think, goes to 50. No, 30 is, like, ear melting. So, Spe 80, of radio, I, want your, I want your car. <laughs> speak, speaking of radio, I should probably mention this. It, that, it doesn't have anything to do with radio, but it, it reminded me of something that's happening lately. <laughs> uh, I'm, as you, as you may or may not know, as, as you may or may not know, I'm doing a Zapod 2017 watch on this channel. And uh, so far, so good. Nothing has been killed yet, but the Russians have suffered a loss of one of their strategic bombers. <laughs> oh no. And the uh, and the Swedes are in there, by the way. The Swedes are out in that area. Yeah, and, uh, they're doing the least terrifying. cuck thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kakistan isn't so cucked as one might say if one was a complete twat. But... You know, the the only thing that happened to that bomber was that it failed to get off the runway. That's it. It just fucked up, and it, now it's in ruins. Well, I'm happy because, you know, uh, the Russians say that they are bringing like 13,000 soldiers. No, it is not that little. At least 100,000. Alright, so once you get in here, you immediately go to this obstacle course thing once you finish it and get the egg you do a race and the race is towards the end of the game are fucking bitch oh yeah the blue for the booby race oh. is annoying but it's not <laughs> as bad that something it's... in this game had the word booby in it it's not as bad as the race against the yetis though on that on that super bonus i can't fucking... i know i know <clears throat> Super if you want to know what we're talking about, towards one of the end, towards the end of the game, once you've done well, pretty much everything really in the game, and done a couple of things I won't spoil, uh, you gain access to an area called the Super Bonus Level, which requires a shit ton of gems. But everything in it gives you the shit ton of gems you require to unlock all the different ones. One of them is a snowboard race against the Yetis on an extremely tight course. Yeah. And the Yetis are stupidly fast. You have to somehow balance doing tricks to keep your thrust modifier up, getting rockets to be able to deal with the Yetis and get in first place, it just being a general race where you need to get in first place, and ensuring you have a near constant boost, because if you don't, you're barely going to be able to finish on time, much less finish in first. Actually, I it's have learned insane. a useful thing about the boost thing. If you want to make a good amount of boost without wasting too much time on tricks, just do three f uh, diagonal flips. That'll give you like a yeah. full bar. Diagonal flips are one of the best ways to get boost in those sections where you need to. Because the thing is, two flips give you barely jack shit, you use it as soon as you get it, but three flips, full bar. You don't need any more. The that. third flip is considered a separate trick entirely, I believe, for a lot of things. It's either the third or the fourth that yeah. actually has a, a proper name. So instead of like double lemon or something like that, it's a, it's a specific name. So that's why they give more, because they're considered rarer and therefore more difficult. The, the odd thing is, actually, before we started today, I looked up some uh, hints and shit. You know, the, was looking for some stuff that I could show off later on. And I found out that the Twisted Lemon, which I always do just the hold, holding diagonally down and left, is actually not done like that. It's a bit different. Uh, but I don't remember how exactly you do it. It doesn't have anything to do with going diagonally. It just so happens that my method somehow triggers it just fine. <laughs> so, just do it like I do it. Just do diagonally down left and you'll be fine. Oh yeah, and every third egg in the speedways is a secret uh, hunter challenge. This time around we're doing Tom Clancy's Hawks the low poly edition. <laughs> the low poly edition? <laughs> yeah, because this is, this is basically the game in Tom Clancy's Hawks. If you ever played it, <laughs> you know I'm not joking. Oh! <laughs> Damn! Oh, you got hit, you got hit. I rammed so, the but fucking But you did teabag him on your way down. I love that aliens are canon in the Spyro universe. And if you consider, just consider for a moment how terrifying that is. Because we go through portals to different worlds, which you can interpret as different planets. 
That means multiple planets are under attack by the same alien force at the same time. And it's always the alien the aliens are, and sheep. Yeah, the aliens are expanding their empire. <laughs> and massively. They're, and they're abducting everyone that they can get their fucking feet on. Their hoofs on. Oh, yeah. It's terrifying. I've, if you just think for a moment about the implications of it, it's terrifying. I wonder what they want to do if you abduct these. Also, I would like to point out, uh, you'll be able to hear it a lot better than us, but welcome to the most annoying fucking shooting sound effect this side of goddamn anything. Well, that's just the thing, though. You have to do this, because otherwise you're gonna have a bit of a hard time, and why not do this? This is easier. Yeah, you can't, yes, like, fly and aim and just shoot once or twice. You have to spam. And it's the most obnoxious fucking sound effect. Luckily, this is pretty easy, so it's not gonna take you too long. Oh, potato. <laughs> Tater. Potato. The kid hater. Adorable little gold dragon. <laughs> I love that when I get super loud sometimes I can hear myself echo. <laughs> money. Welcome to Walder's setup. Money, money, yes. money. Oh, of course. You know, a while ago we used to use uh, virtual audio cables, but we decided not to do that anymore. Spyro, don't walk by yourself, what the fuck? <laughs> we decided not to use the virtual cables anymore because they reduced our quality for the for the sound and well that's bad. Just a little I bit. I am still on that same. virtual audio cable train though. Yeah, if you talk to the tiki guy, he'll say um like this balloon will take you to the great tiki lodge in the sky. Which makes it sound like you're going to die and go to heaven. Listen carefully. Well, if you do fuck up the boss fight, you technically do go to the Tiki Lodge in the sky, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I love these cutscenes because, like we determined in the stream, the plot is a lot more... Um, in, it's silly. In tune, silly. in tune with our shitty jokes when we fought. I mean, at one point I said, you, I wanted to get the chicken wings. And what do you know, later on in the cutscene, I just want the dragons for their wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that she can use a spell to uh, give herself eternal youth. Which is generally the opposite of what wings do. I don't care what you do. You it's it's you know that pretty how? funny, because I mean, I just made a joke about the fucking chicken wings, but apparently she really wants those damn wings. Yeah, we were just making, we were just effectively making fat jokes. <laughs> and no, she, she wants them for the wings. Hey, Farmer Maxim, co come over here. Oh no! I will turn you into a bunny. Mm, not menacing enough. Wait, wait, fuck it up. Oh, there we go, nice. I, love, I love that, look at that. Uh, it's more terrifying go. with the bunny ears. <laughs> yes, agreed. With, with the bunny ears, it's a bad diva cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> a really bad diva cosplay. Also, I or just really don't funny, I, I need to make on Roadhog. I don't want people to think I'm completely fucking stupid or antisocial. I just have to keep muting myself because my throat's fucking up. And I don't want to, like, fuck up the whole recording for everyone by coughing constantly. Oh, that's very nice of you. <laughs> that plus the fact that me and Walder have been friends for ages and constantly fucking talk. Well, so we're... What? You that saw that? He fucking... He popped! He popped! Fucking... What the hell's going on in this place for all of a sudden? Why is everybody popping and clipping? Whoa. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Yes. Okay, but, I see you're doing your whack. secret. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Don't charge I'm, him. I'm trying to do my s sneaky trick of resetting him faster, but, uh, you know, it's been a while since I last practiced it, Rob. Stand in the fucking <laughs> middle, d dickhead. <laughs> he really didn't make it. God damn I, it. I love this guy. We are literally boiling a thing alive that didn't choose to be this thing. That's nice. Yep. He serves the evil empire. He deserves it. <laughs> but yes, he planted flowers for them. How the fuck dare he? This Nazi pl plants flowers for the evil Hitler monster. But he's but he's not a na Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> ah, I get it? Political he is now. <laughs> I, I utterly love this, this boss fight. Because it really does test your ability to move around and your ability to uh, remember how like certain waves move, like how fast the charge is, how long the glide can go. Like, it's a really good test of your abilities. 
It is. The others are what more just they? a test of your patience, but this one's a legitimate test of your abilities. I still think the Wasn't second it, boss is better. Study? Yeah. The second boss is more entertaining. psychological study done saying that kids that play video games can like concentrate on seven things at once where kids that don't play video games cannot. Also, our yeah. concentration holds longer. Wait, if that is the case, then people who say that uh, people don't have attention spans to watch video game videos on YouTube are full of fucking shit! I knew it! Yep. <laughs> but that's because I've always, you I've aren't always physically playing shit. something. <laughs> Again, yeah, no. in defense, I mean, because you aren't I mean, physically doing something, your concentration is elsewhere. But even then, it's, it's complete bullshit. The idea of people don't want to watch longer, like, longer videos, because YouTube's shown, like, there is a trend towards watching longer form content. And yes, because I then I don't have to be... fucking skip between bullshit ads every 10 seconds. I can just put something on and watch it. Also, as I get, as I'm not even kidding here, as I get older and as I get uh, a bit less stupid, I'll admit. Lazier. A bit more... Let's just say it like it is. As I get lazier. As, as I didn't know, as I get less lazy, more to the point, I find myself watching short form videos a hell of a lot less. Oh, yeah, or like no sometimes kidding. I will like put a whole bunch of short form videos in a watch later queue and watch it then. So that way I'm just, I'm doing it over three hours or four hours or what have you, like when I have time. Like, but yes. I find myself watching short form content. I'm, I'm, when we say short form content as LPs, we're talking about videos that are about 18 minutes or less. That's short form content to us. So about the uh, the length of like an old Simpsons episode is considered yes, short. Or the form average playtime in a decent Overwatch game. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, no, no kidding, really. Because nowadays there is a, there is a well, well, there are a couple of channels that do let's plays and stuff. I don't watch them that much anymore as I used to, simply because their videos are just too damn short. I really hate yeah. the shorter videos because I want to see more, but they keep fucking interrupting with their end cards and shit. I don't want to well, see that. Sh exactly. Short form no, videos well, are very useful if you heavily edit the video so that then you get a lot done during it. Or if it's a story game or something, like, yeah, that's going to get irritating. Like, I know for a fact I irritate a lot of people because each episode of Telltale's Walking Dead that I play takes four parts to do. And I know that's irritating for a, a couple of people who watch, but I always have to say, look, I've got to cut it up in the sections. Because otherwise you are literally going to get a two hour long video and I'm going to spend 30 hours uploading it. Yeah, seriously, even I Let's wouldn't be able to like upload, upload a video drugs. that long with my super speed. In a reasonable your time. With Lithuanian speed. No, but the thing is, as well, you'll run out of content. If all of your videos are basically just one game start to end or two hours, how quickly would you burn through games? Insanely, I think. To be fair, given exactly. how many games I have for something just like FDA, that's actually not that big of an issue for me. Okay, Tash, I and accept your, no, accept and your no, argument. From now on, I want two-hour videos or I unsubscribe. And no, that's not an, oh, look at me, I'm rich argument that's more look at me i have a mild addiction to buying humble bundles unsubscribe well to be fair i've got a whole ass ton of humble bundle as well oh seriously i it's it's i know for a fact it's it's probably an addiction at this point i mean for god's sake i bought the fucking sakura bundle for no other reason than if i run out i'm not even kidding if it for no other reason than if i run out of fda fodder i've got these stupid safes that is guaranteed to bring somebody in just out of curiosity like, well, literally the I didn't know you were into it. waifus, Tash. <laughs> waifu, not. my waifu. Waifu for life. Tash, I'm not gonna, gonna, gonna actually I'm have waifu. a waifu. I choose Saris Victoria over anyone because Saris Victoria is fucking amazing and can kick ass. So screw the lot of you. No, um, but what I do want is a Honey Pop episode now. I'm not fucking doing Honey Pop. Well. Just have not that unless, set up button ready, friend. Not, un not unless I get so fucking desperate for content that is literally the only thing. You know what? Fuck it. I got an idea here. Get me to content a thousand subs the before the end of the say. year. Get me to a thousand subs before the end of the year. I'll fucking do Honey Pop for FDA. God damn it. <laughs> trying the trying the uh, swimming in the air glitch? Yes. I want to do it at least once for the playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> there are multiple the ways to do it in each hub world, but I only know how to do this one so far. The swimming in the air glitch is actually one of the most interesting glitches in Spyro, just mechanically, because the water isn't actually water. 
it the the way the water in Spyro games work is it is a barrier. So when Spyro touches it, the game knows to go from normal Spyro animations Fuck. oh dear <laughs> to <laughs> swimming animation. So literally that's the only that's the only thing it does. Everything underneath the water is just air. It's not an actual like a full blown water thing. All it is is a barrier saying above this you go into this animation in this animation stuff. Below this, you go to this animation stuff. It works very similarly is... to how water works in San Andreas, actually, because it, it's pretty much the same way. If you can respawn yourself underwater, then you'll... Damn, I was just a little off. If you can respawn yourself you underwater able... in San Andreas, then you're pretty much able to drive like normal. What uh, Walder is attempting to do here is... um kind of tricky and relies on a lot of stuff because the uh developers insomniac didn't put a whole just a whole bunch of invisible walls everywhere there are a lot of very useful glitches um this one in particular relies on when you head bash if you hit something you bounce back up slightly if you'll notice that water doesn't actually have anything under it i don't think so Damn you it. head bash you break the water so the game knows once you have finished this animation go into swim go into the swim animation but it will still kick you above water so you are allowed to fly swim in the air effectively allowing you unrestricted access to the entire map yeah including a few different things it's also pretty difficult to pull off because the first step you need to do is get up here and it's not that easy the second step is to fly through this rock and Ah, oh, damn it. And then you need to fly yes. underneath the river and be just in below enough uh, to be able to do a head bash without falling through to your death. Yes, it's an incredibly difficult glitch to achieve. It's a lot easier on certain levels. I know in the first hub world of Spyro Gate of um, Spyro Gateway to Glimmer or Spyro Ripto's Rage, as it's called in the US, it is a very easy glitch to do. And I do also remember that if you can actually pull it off in multiple Shit. occasion oh dear uh you might want to stop because you're burning through your lives i'll be fine <laughs> right. uh, in multiple occasions basically what happens is when you trigger certain portals they um rise up from the ground the way the game stores them isn't spawn in make rise up it is spawn in keep under the map where the player can't find it so if you can glitch your way out of the map, like Walter's doing, or with the swimming in air cheat, you are able to get to those without having to unlock them, allowing you to speedrun the game. Um, I know you can do it in... Oh, you're killing bunnies for this. I know you can do it in Spyro 2. I don't know if you can do it in this one, because I believe they changed it. I don't know. I do know that uh, the you, it's the easiest to do here because there's the least amount of things you need to do, and also they're like the easiest to pull off. Yeah, they really cracked down on it in this one. They didn't exactly put invisible walls, but they did make it very difficult. Well, it is the easiest of the most difficult. <laughs> Yes, because back when this game was made, it was very difficult to just randomly release an update and patch it out because that wasn't a thing. Yeah, the internet yeah. was barely a thing back then, and when it was, it was only like dial up. All right, you should be able to do it uh, here. I went up a little too sure. high. Yeah, fact. Okay, I'll try one more time, and if I can't do it right now, I'll just uh, put in a clip as how I do it. Because we're wasting time. <laughs> yes. But wasting time this. is the fun part. Yeah. Come on. Right, try it. Ah, bitch. One more time. I think it might be because <laughs> no, of something. bitch. One more time. I think it might be because there's something underneath it that's what's screwing you up. Like, I, have you uh, tried doing it with up. the giant the lake? Thing. No, I'm a little too high up. That's just the thing. I need to be a little bit uh, lower. Just the But the line diamond. between falling out of the world and, like, actually having that work is so thin. Oh it god, is yeah. Fucking thin. I think it's about like four or five pixels kind of thing. It's a very, I know very small. I speedrunners use one of the bridges here to just start swimming on the water, but I don't understand how we do it. I forget how we do it. It's like the uh, right... they do it in the same. They do it in the same way. You have to simultaneously trigger the going into and getting out of water. Effectively, you have to trick the game into thinking you have passed the water barrier. So what you can do is you can fly outside of the bounds of the um, game. You can get underwater where ordinarily oh, you'd just be on. effectively standing because as we established before, water is simply a barrier. And then you can 
you can jump out. But because you've touched the barrier, it will say, well, you're now swimming, so you're now swimming in the air. So if you can get out of bounds, you're actually able to do it a lot easier on the bridge than anything else. There There's we go. One. There we go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. See what I mean when I said it had to be in a barrier? It's, it, uh, it's pretty tight, but if you can do it, it's pretty fucking hilarious. The thing is, on yes. this game especially, it is slightly useless. Come here, bitch! Oh, no. <laughs> Not this game, this level especially is slightly useless. Try and go out of bounds, like try and get under the level, and we can see if there's actually... <laughs> He's gotta be so fucking terrified, though. How Imagine do you do this shit? Please, please let me live! Oh, fuck, there's a swimming <laughs> dragon here to stay for me. I am the magical fucking being. Magician. I am the magical being, bitch. But Is you it can, just like, me or did the well, sky change? Well, <laughs> yeah, the sky changed. But you can like you can glitch through objects. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. Like Insomniac devs are very very clear when they design the game that there's the outer layer that you can pop, you can't pass through if you're coming at it from a certain direction. But if you're inside the geometry, you're perfectly fine. And they did that to prevent people getting stuck. Because occasionally you do get stuck in the geometry pretty badly. This, this is how you save this space. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in um, Spyro 2, I believe it in, is in the first hub world. If you can get do the swimming in the sky glitch, which is incredibly easy in that world because there's a lot of water, you can get to the very first boss fight very, very quickly because all you have to do is go to the tube because it's half a tube now. So you just fly into it because it'll allow you to pass through. You're instantly in the fight with, I think his name is Crush. And from uh, there, you just like hide there. Yeah, first one is yes. Crush, and second one is Gulp. And it's Gulp, I believe, yeah. And there, the, the third one is go? Ripu itself, because there's only three. I don't know, where did the egg seed go? He just fucking disappeared. He stole the egg and... Oh, there he is! There he is. There he is, a little shit. That uh, son of a bitch. I'm gonna so shoot sneaky. him. I'm gonna snipe <laughs> him. Get super flame power up. Fucking oh. snipe him. Snipe a bitch. Unlike normal flame suit. Where the fuck did he go? Uh, Unlike I normal think, flame I think I know what's going on. If I pick up what? the super flame, he just outright hides because he knows he oh, thinks he's yeah, gonna he get wrecked. Yeah, he's I gonna believe that fucked. is actually correct. He just outright disappears. Well, ain't he a bastard? I wonder if I can still <laughs> shoot fire while acting like this. Let's yeah, see. you can. The flame can uh, be shot underwater. Nope. Well, you just ran out. No, I you meant, can't shoot I meant the oh, regular. No, no, flame. normal flame, yes. Normal flame, no, no I don't but think so. it underwater, and a flame can't be underwater for reasons that should be obvious to anyone with at least a kindergarten education. Okay, so why can't we do it? Maybe third grade for I'm American. from Africa. The, the education system here is a little iffy. Oh, you want to talk about bad education? Wait, wait. I, I can prove you all wrong. See, if I take a glass of water and I light a fire underneath it, there's fire <laughs> underwater. Yeah, that's a oh, very that's, funny. That's, that's yeah, a cheat. Yeah, the yeah. developers, that's a death a cheat. The developers of the universe haven't patched out yet. <laughs> the devs of universe. <laughs> Little R slash outside for you all. I love that subreddit. It's just fucking stupid. I am still getting to learn Reddit. Wait, that Reddit actually has worked? Yes. <laughs> that actually works. I'd never knew Bullshit that worked. I'm gonna yes. fucking do that every time. That's hilarious. Well, it's gonna take you 45 minutes to just, you know, get the underwater swimming overwater thing. I am balloon. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind we of funny. We are the balloon. I love this shit. Hey, look. Yeah, Hello. you get to like normally inaccessible areas. 